Having uh, all the World Cup guys back on the ice, I, I think there was that uh, aura of excitement uh, throughout the group, and uh, those guys really pushed the pace today. So, seeing Patrick up close and personal, uh, he's at, as advertised, and we know he's just going to get better and better as he gets uh, more familiar with uh, not only his teammates, but uh, the style of play uh, the NHL uh, has to offer here. I don't think many would have predicted you'd be on the eve of your first uh, <laughs> game here and Paul still not even be back. Has there been a lot of communication with Paul about the first few days of camp and oh, yeah. into the preseason? We, uh, we did all our prep work in August, making sure that, uh, that we were ready for camp. Uh, I don't think this was expected. Uh, if you asked a lot of people uh, in Canada and the U.S. and North America, I don't think that anyone expected Team Europe to be uh, where they're at right now. But hey, that's kudos to the job that Paul and Ralph and uh, Brad Shaw have done in their staff. So good for him. So he's in it. Uh, he's in it to win it. So uh, you know, go as far as he can. And um, you know, we talk every day, and we make sure we talk more than once a day, and we kind of give him updates on what's going on. But he has full confidence in what we're doing because of the prep that we put in in August. So. What can you tell us about the lineup you're going to roll out tomorrow, Jamie? Uh, I'm not sure yet. We're still in the evaluation process right now. So uh, that's as soon as I finish with you guys, that's where I'm going next to try and hammer out a lineup.